Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. I'm going to show you guys how I get, I was about to say this look, not this look, how I do my everyday like 10 minute makeup routine if I'm going somewhere but not somewhere too fancy and I need to throw on a little bit of makeup. I figured now was like the perfect time to do that because I mentioned this in like some of my past few videos but I was getting PRP microneedling on Friday and I'm filming this on Monday. So this is where my skin is at so far. I think it looks really, really good. I enjoyed all of the things from PRP and I will have a video up on, um, I guess sometime next week because I'm filming this week's videos today. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the five minute, no, 10 minute makeup routine. Okay, so my tip number one for a 10 minute makeup routine is have like a curated selection of makeup products. So you don't want to, I know they're like, okay, hold on. So I have this makeup bag and it has like all of my everyday makeup. But if I'm going for more like a, I need options kind of makeup routine, like I have like seven mascaras in here. It's just kind of ridiculous. Um, but then I have the makeup bag that I took with me over the weekend on a little weekend anniversary trip. And it has like barely anything in it, as you can see. Um, because if you give yourself less options, more than likely you're going to have a quicker makeup routine and it's going to, I mean, it's not going to take you that long. You're going to have like a curated list of products that you know you like and love, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Um, anyway, these are the Fawn Beauty bags. If you don't have one, you need to go get them. They're vegan, cruelty-free, and they're washable. So you can stick them in the machine, the machine. You can stick them in the washer and <clears throat> I'm getting strangled. You can stick them in the washer and then they have this cute little front pouch so you can see um, everything that you packed and then they open up wide on top. Not a promo, but also kind of a promo. Okay, so I went ahead and did my skincare off camera just because it's very finicky at this point since I did get the PRP micro needling and I can't use certain products on it. Um, but now I'm going to go in with my tinted moisturizer slash SPF. So if you can use a product, that is one big thing in a 10 minute face. If you can use a product and be... Um, what's the word, like multifaceted or multi-purpose. Um, this is the tinted moisturizer, like I said, but I also, it's a SPF. So that's one less step that I have to do. And it makes my makeup a lot quicker. And I love the way that it looks on my skin. I've talked about this product from Dermatology a thousand and ten times, and I mix it with the debronzy, which you all will be happy to know. If you've seen me use this thing, like to no end, I did buy another one in the Sephora cell, which is the video that I'm filming next, is another Sephora cell haul. So if you are interested, stick around and you guys can see that video. So normally if I'm not talking, I would, you know, have already done this and I would have been on to the next step, but I'm telling you guys all the things. Another tip I have is to use products that are alike. And by that, I mean, if you're using something like this, where it's really hydrating and really like makes your skin look like dewy glass, we love that. Um, I would recommend using creams because creams are going to bl blend really well on top of uh, a product like this. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I went ahead and did my um, eyebrows off camera as well, because if I try to talk and do those, then um, we're gonna be here for 900 years. I just, I can't do that. Another good option that I've been testing out is a La Roche-Posay tinted, tinted Mineral Light Fluid Sunscreen. It has broad spectrum SPF 50. So I picked this one up. It is 1.7 ounces, and this is also 1.7 ounces. Although this one is cheaper than the La Roche-Posay, so. This one also has like a bit more of a matte tint to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my concealer really quickly. This is, again, Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I need a mirror, actually, yes. And I just put a tiny bit enough to give me a little bit of coverage and a little bit of something something, but not anything crazy. Also, a 10 minute face is not the place to be trying new products because I do that to myself all the time. And I'm like, oh, I'll just try this. Like it, it's gonna be really quick, you know, and it's not quick. It's not quick because then you end up messing something up and you don't like it and it's a whole thing. So don't be trying anything new. Okay, next I'm gonna go with this product. It's super easy, super easy to blend out. This is the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. And I just kind of do it along the perimeters of my face, anywhere I want a little bit more highlight a little more glow and then also kind of prep the skin for where I'm going to be bronzing it. You can blend that out with your beauty blender. You can blend it out with a sponge, whatever your heart desires. I'm going to use this um, brush from Morphe and Ariel. This is the 858, br 858 brush and I find that it just does a really good job blending it out quickly and still leaving behind that shine because that is what I want. I want the shimmer. I want the shine. It doesn't really have shimmer but it's got a good do to it and also because my skin is a little bit more dry from having the treatment done, I want to use really hydrating and just like simple products. Moving on quickly, I'm gonna go in with my Chanel bronzer because this is a cream bronzer. You can use any cream bronzer you like, but I really do love the Chanel one. Mine is just the original, so it comes in two different shades now, but this is just the original Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I'm taking it on an A32 brush. I have a fair amount of product. I feel like I've used actually a fairly decent amount of this. 
um, but it builds up really, really nicely. And then I'm just gonna hit the perimeters of my face. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is whenever you're doing a 10 minute face, like I said about the multi-use products, this is also a multi-use product. So you'll see in just a second, this can be carried throughout the face. So I'm using it for a bronzer slash contour slash just warming up the face a little bit. Oh wait, I just did my hair like blow, blow dried. I was gonna say blow dried. I blow dried my hair. Is that right? Blow dried, whatever. I blow dried my hair and uh, it's sticking to my face. I really like this brush because it's tapered. And so I can just kind of quickly contour, quickly bronze without having to think about it and get what I need done, done. I like using products like this because I feel like you can be a little bit more messy and you don't have to worry about it whenever you're doing a 10 minute face because it just kind of blends out effortlessly. I just kind of go in with my beauty sponge. This is also from the Morphe and Ariel collection and go over everything to make sure that it's seamless and like looking really good. I just did my hand like this. Like y'all couldn't see that, but I was just like making sure it's looking good. Anyways, I didn't mean to put that bronzer up, but I did. I'm going back in with the bronzer and back in with another Morphe and Ariel brush. He needs to sponsor me. This is the A14 brush and this is a perfect tapered fluffy brush, but it's a little bit denser than like you would imagine. And I've been super into, I need another mirror. I'm gonna go in with this, pick up that bronzer again, and I've been into nose contour. So we're blending it from, remember, I talked about this in my last like glam video. We're blending it from down the nose, up into the eyebrow, first part of the eyebrow, and over into my crease to be more natural, more snatural. And give the illusion of a slimmer nose, slimmer face, so that when I go out to the grocery store later, people will indeed confuse me with my famous friend, Kimberly Kardashian. Anyways, I actually sent her a funny DM. I'm exposing myself. Whenever she came out with the um, Fendi and Skims collaboration, I, that was the only time I've ever DM'd her in my life. Which honestly, whenever I DM'd her, like, you know, it pops up your old messages. I was like, I feel like I've definitely DM'd Kim Kardashian before, but I actually had not. So props to me for standing my ground. But anyways... Um, this is also a very skippable step. You do not have to do this, but I actually just enjoy it and it doesn't take me long at all. Anyway, I DM'd her and I was like, bestie, you forgot to send me a PR package. Like, I saw that you sent Marianna Hewitt one, but you must have forgot me. If she ever reads that, she's going to be like, you're so stupid. Okay, now for a, a cute, cutie little moment. Cutie little moment. Um, pause the video. Actually, don't pause the video. Don't do that. Um, if you can guess what blush I'm using you win a star award. You win the Fawny today. I'm going in with, uh, you guessed it, Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy on a Morphe A11. A22, dang it, I always get this this one wrong. That's my favorite one from this collection. A22, hit the top of the cheekbones. I'm looking in my mirror over here if you're wondering. Um, hit the cheekbones, hit the nose bridge, and blend to snatural heaven. Boom. And she's ready to go. Now, I'm going to put on my favorite everyday lippy. I have to exfoliate my lips like a hundred times a day. Does anybody else have to do that? Get so dry with the dry air we have. I'm going to go in with the Fawn Beauty. If you don't know, this is my company. But also, I just make really good lip glosses and not to like brag on myself or anything. Okay, just kidding. I trained shades because I wanted a staple and that was a basic. And I don't have a basic up here or a staple up here. I have like four in my purse. So, I'm going to go in with the shade Cashmere. I hope that you can see. It's a like really pretty sheer nude but it has pink glitter or just shimmer flecks in it and it looks amazing and it feels really nice on my lips also another thing about fawn beauty we are vegan cruelty free non kumi another thing about fawn beauty it's vegan cruelty free um all the good things the majority of the formula is made up of organic oils like shea butter avocado kernel oil castor oil Glycerin, which is a humectant, so it pulls in moisture from the air into your lips, so it really focuses on hydrating them. And it feels really, really nice and hydrates your lips. It also has coconut oil, variety of other oils, and it's all natural. So, now that I have my lippy on, I think I'm actually going to mix a bit of a basic with it, just because I'm extra. And then, so this is a basic, which has a lot more pigment than cashmere, because cashmere is a little bit more sheer, but I'm just going to dot it on. We'll add it something, something, a little more color. And then... I'm going to do something a little wild 
if you have extra time and you're like, I'm feeling crazy today, I'm going to just go in with like a color similar to my bronzer. Put it under my lower lash line because I feel like it really helps open my eye a lot. And then go in with my um, mascara, which this is my favorite mascara right now. I was loving the Rare Beauty one. I still do love that one, but I've mentioned before, it's really hard to get off my lashes. Like, even with warm water, even with micellar water, it's hard to get off my lashes. So, I feel like this is the better version of the Rare Beauty mascara, and it is the Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara. It does have a different shape of wand, but also similar at the same time. Um, the vibe of the wand kind of gives me the Too Faced Better Than Sex wand. Um, but the formula is incredibly easy to build up, and I just really like it. And it also washes off really easily, really, really easily. And it's a clean formula. And I just love Ilia. Like, I just love them. So, should I curl my lashes? I find that this has all the benefits of the Rare Beauty Mascara. Like, the fact that it's really easy to build up. And it's super black. And I don't have to go in with, like, multiple coats of it. It doesn't take me long to get the desired, like, look that I want from it. Um... But it's just not hard to take off. It doesn't take forever. It doesn't pull out your lashes. And I still love the Rare Beauty. And I still have it. So I'm going to use it. But it's like more for if I need a really, really long wear. Like will not come off. But this one doesn't flake or smudge or anything under my eyes either. And I bought this because of Tony Sev Dallas. So if you don't watch her, she's really gorgeous. And I love her channel. I've watched her for a long time. And um, she mentioned this in her Sephora recommendations, I believe. And she was like... I haven't had a bad mascara day since I started using this. And I was like, oh, say loans. So I went and ordered it and I have loved it. All right, so that is my everyday 10 minute makeup routine. I used very minimal products. I used products that could be multi-use, multi-purpose, like the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I used it on my eyes as an eyeshadow. Used it as a cream bronzer as well as a contour. Um, I used one brush set and I'd even use all the brushes. I used the Fawn Beauty Lip Glosses, which I will have linked down below. Obviously you don't have to mix two, but it's just, like, I like to have something really moisturizing on my lips. And, like, all jokes aside, even though it is my brand, I like to have something moisturizing on my lips throughout the day. But I also, like, if I'm going somewhere, I want to have, like, feel more put together than just, like, rubbing aqua for on my lips, you know? And so that's one of the reasons I created Fawn Beauty was to have that, like, best of both worlds. It's hydrating your lips, but it looks really good at the same time. So I genuinely do use these products. This is my third tube of cashmere. Um, I've gone through the nude collection, like, two times. Like, I love them. Look at the reviews. They don't lie. Um, everything else is everyday makeup that I've used. It's not a very expensive look. I want to say all of this is un definitely under $100. That could be a lie. But um, it, it's multi-purpose. It's multi-use. And I feel like you can't go wrong with a look like this, whether it's for work, even for a date. If you want to add a little extra something, you could dab on a um, top coat, like the Natasha Denone top coat. Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics has beautiful top coats for her, from her winter collection. I have those and love them. They're very similar to the Natasha Denona, and Like they're in the same packaging pretty much. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like it and give it a thumbs up. Wait, that's the same thing. Please make sure to like it and subscribe before you leave for more content from me. And everything will be linked down below. I hope you have a... Why do I talk so fast? Everything will be linked down below. I hope you have a fabulous day.